yard Out behind the car Tonight we're gonna do something different I will make the things That I know how to make You will make something more delicious Welcome back to the allotment plot and I'm having a super chill day today. I came down this morning and did a little bit of work on the plot. I've gone home and have some lunch and in between this afternoon's occasional showers I popped down here so I can give you a little tour of how everything's looking on the plot right now. At the top of the allotment plot I've got my two comfrey plants. These are new for 2024 and they're attracting so many bees into my plot. Here we've got a raised bed with nothing in it. I'm going to raise some French beans in the greenhouse and then plant them out here. I did put some in the ground in this bed and this bed here. But they haven't come up. We had one or two that rose a little bit but quickly got eaten. Spent some time this morning just tickling the top of these beds and just turning them over and they look so much fresher and back to life now that I've done that before. They just had kind of dried manure on the top. Tomato in a sack. Onions in my cut off bin, doing nicely. I cleaned out that this morning. Another tomato in a sack here. Let me whip you around. Ooh. Let me whip you around here and I can show you my bean bed. Runner beans all the way down here. And then over here we've got some French beans, which are the variety called cobra they've all come up nicely despite my nervousness of planting them in the ground which is something that i've never done before i've had some issues with, over here with the kentucky wonder wax so these haven't seemed to have come up one or two have come up and then quickly got eaten away so again i've got to try those in the greenhouse and then i'll plant them out when they're big and strong but yeah the beans have successfully come up tickled these beds as well just turned them over briefly just got some of the big dry clumps of manure out of the bed and it looks so much fresher check out the beautiful color on my geranium allotment sign sweet pea on the back squash in a pot these have come to life no end over the past two or three days I love the texture of Swiss chard I love the way it looks I can't wait to see this bloom this year over here we got some French beans lazy housewife variety from real seeds they've come up very nicely in both beds so I'm pleased with that another squash pumpkin in there cut off bin onions doing nicely bush beans in here I know they're all bunched together but they're looking pretty good gave them a bit of a feed today my previous video you'll have probably seen that I put some carrots in here took out those garlic that had garlic rust on so the carrots are hopefully quietly germinating in there over here we've got some onions which have suddenly started to swell up very nicely so I gave this bed a bit of a tickle over as well. Right, so here we've got my Caribbean Kalaloo, doing very nicely. I'm gonna let that come up and flower. Carrot raised beds, that one's doing okay. It's a bit slower than my prize bed, but they're still coming up though. And then here we've got another tomato plant, another tomato plant, king of the plot, elephant garlic, hasn't got any rust on it as well, so I'm pleased with that. That's doing very nicely. Spring onions, took a picking of those the other day. In here we've got bush beans all the way along here. Some of them have been out of way, look. But I think we've got enough in there to get a good crop. Let's get ourselves over to this side of the allotment. And I'm speeding up because it looks like it's gonna rain again. Shallots in there and in there. Both beds been tickled this morning. And then here we've got my peas which are doing very nicely. New for 2024, peas for me. Well, I tried them last year, but they didn't go very well. Mange toot in there. Squash, 
squash, Caribbean callaloo. Over here, an interesting one, because you know I took away the garlic that had all the rust on it. I've now put in some of my spare sprout plants in here. So this is something new for the allotment plot tour. Something for us to keep our eyes on and to see how successful these grow in sacks. Graham, these sacks, I can't tell you how much of a difference this year has been so far growing in sacks. It's been a real revelation for someone that's fairly new to allotment gardening. Well, this is my third year in, but rather than having to try and manage massive beds, I'm just able to look after the sacks and it just makes life so much easier. As you've seen in previous videos, my broad beans have been a huge hit in the sacks. Let's check them out, see how they look today. Pickings off these. And I've come down today after a bit of rain over the past couple of days and we've got some more lovely broad beans here. Look at these, they're glorious. Let me give you a quick update on the apple tree. Some apples are coming on nice and strong now. They do look beautiful, don't they? I've got loads of apples. Let's get ourselves over here for some more carrot action. I've got the Paris Market carrots that I've put in this plastic container. In here we've got Paris Market carrots as well. I believe they just grow into little orange balls. So excited to see how those get on. Got some marigolds in there and another spare tomato plant that I had. I've just put outside to give it a whirl. I'm trying to shorten the videos down a little bit when I do an allotment plot tour, but I've just got so much to show you. I'm just trying to keep it brief so we can get through the whole lot. Less of the waffle, Graham. Let's get ourselves into one of these polytunnels and I'll show you what's kicking off because I think you're going to like this. And I'm going to start off going this side today. And this is really my tomato polytunnel. And when you come in here, <laughs> look at that. Honestly, I've got 18 sacks in here, all full of different varieties of tomatoes. Ones to probably note, I've got an outdoor girl, indoor here, which is really, really strong. Same thing applies to the sun gold cherry tomatoes. These are by far the tallest in the polytunnel. They're doing really well. They have got some tomatoes on. I bought some feed the other day, but I'm yet to feed them. Any of you guys growing tomatoes? Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with them. Are they a success or a failure? Are they doing well or are they a bit slow? I'm really surprised this year. Last year I had a bit of a disaster. I didn't get very many tomatoes at all and the plants didn't grow very well. That was in the other polytunnel. But in here this year, these tomato plants seem to be absolutely flying. Must be doing something right. I don't know what it is. Heading over into the other polytunnel and in here we've got a bit of a hybrid, lots of different things. I've got cucumbers at the back here taking a bit of an approach of putting two cucumbers against each cane i don't know how well that's going to work out whether they might get cramped or not but I'm trying to get double the amount of cucumbers in one sack see how that goes i've got marigolds in each one of these sacks which should come up quite nicely and we've randomly got some melon plants that I've popped in as well so they're quite exciting. Odd tomato plant here and there. Aubergine. So far this year the aubergines are looking strong. Last year was the first year I tried aubergines. I had two plants. One of them didn't produce any aubergines but grow pretty big. The other one did but it just produced one aubergine. Throughout the entire summer, I've got three aubergine plants in here and they're all looking really good. Really, these sacks here at the front, we've got peppers. I'm not sure the variety, I bought them from real seeds, but they did look like they grow real big, long, banana-y type peppers. So, fingers crossed those guys do okay. They're looking pretty healthy, although they are quite small for the moment. And yeah, I can feel the rain trying desperately to come down. So we'll make it quick out here. This is new for 2024, this whole area here. Before, I just had a bit of a fence going along here and a kind of dumping of old plants. 
I raked it all out and then I planted in here some squash and a couple of tomato plants. And then I put some wood chips all the way around them to try and suppress the weeds so I don't have to spend too much time weeding. A couple of the things are doing really well. Be a good time to get in the greenhouse now because I think it's going to start raining for the final part of today's allotment tour. Come on. And everything in this greenhouse is absolutely thriving. Many peppers growing, they're looking so strong. Here in trays I've got some outdoor girl tomatoes, possibly a little bit late but I might put them in the sacks that the broad beans are in once those have finished their time. I've got some extra Swiss chard in there and in here I've grown some leeks. Over here in the corner we've got a dragon's breath chilli plant which seems to be doing okay, very slow growing though. The tomato plant and look at how strong that pepper plant is. Whew. And that's tired me out getting through that allotment plot tour. Honestly though, that's, that's first world problems, isn't it? Having wood chippings in the frame of your greenhouse. I'm just so grateful to have my allotment plot and just love coming and walking around here. At the moment, it's thriving. After spending this morning tickling the beds, just turning over the soil a little bit. I know there's all this no dig, don't touch and stuff, but I kind of like just getting my hands into the beds and just, I don't know, turning the earth over with my hands. Kind of makes me feel like I'm getting to know my allotment plot a little bit more. It gives it a bit of a personal touch, doesn't it? I'm not sure, don't I? I'm not certain what I'm going on about there, but I think you know what I mean. You like to sort of get really connected with your allotment plot, don't you? So to get stuck in there with your hands. I have to wear gloves because I get soil doesn't agree with my skin. Hit the subscribe button if you've watched the video but you're not subscribed because there's loads more stuff coming. Almost uploading daily now just because I'm enjoying it so much. But yeah, take care. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.